This is the video version of the scouting report on Marcelo Mayer, written by Jake Tillinghast on prospectsworldwide.com. Visit our website if this interests you. Marcelo Mayer is a smooth defender with a predictable frame and a strong offensive skill set to match. He's a clear impact performer on both sides of the ball as a left-handed hitting shortstop. Mayer has a chance to tap 20 plus home run power with a plus hit tool that does not come around often. It makes Mayer a consensus top 5 prep prospect in the class and an easy day 1 prospect. The California's hit tool is an advanced hit ability with a strong gap to gap approach. He has a smooth swing with a relaxed feel at the plate. There is a flattish bat path that produces consistent line drive contact. He shows good barrel control and the ability to use the whole field. Mayer is not trying to do too much and trusts his hands and ability to find barrels. He should strike out at a below average rate and hits the fastball well. He keep, keeps his weight back on breaking balls fairly well and uses left field with relative ease and is an easy candidate for 30 plus doubles a year. For Mayer's raw power, he has solid extension through contact and a strong hip separation. The ball jumps off the bat. For his game power, he is slowly building more loft into his swing and wants to do damage in the air. He shows pull to center field power and has been showing consistent 100 miles per hour exit velos in games and has been high as 104 miles per hour. With the added loft in projection, those doubles in the gaps will soon find the seats more frequently. At the plate, Mayer does a good job of fighting and spoiling tough pitches on the corners. He does a solid job of controlling the overall zone and projects for 10-12% walk rates. Defensively, the USC commit shows as a smooth, natural defender at shortstop. He shows fantastic footwork and soft hands, good range, and is consistently on target with his throws and feeds to second base. Mayer reads the hops well, knows when to attack, and stays back for the extra hop. There's a strong internal clock. He makes up for his lack of plus speed with a strong, quick first step and good instincts. A clean 55 inch short, a move to third would project as an easy plus. From the infield, Mayer has been clocked at 92 miles per hour during infield drills. He shows a loose arm, quick release, and transfer. He makes throws from all angles, whether it be on the move, coming in, up the middle, and in the hole. His throws have a consistent carry across the diamond. For his run tool, he has been clocked at 6.92 seconds on his 60-yard dashes. From home to first, he runs between 4.16 and 4.21 seconds. He has long strides, and he is not much of a stolen base threat, but is a solid base runner that is not overly aggressive and knows when he can push for an extra base. Now let's talk about his batting stance. It is slightly open with slightly bent knees in his athletic stance. He is relaxed with an easy and quick load. His hands work with the body and fluidity and is consistently on time. He gets the front foot down and tracks the ball long. There is a good weight shift and an easy load mechanism. Mir has an athletic build, long legs, and room to add good weight and strength to his frame with a strong lower half. His body type is similar to Corey Seager. On to his strengths. He's got an advanced bat and barrel control that consistently finds gaps. He will provide solid contact rates and won't strike out a ton while drawing walks at an above average rate. There's strong body projection and improving power at the plate due to the added loft in the swing. Mayer is a smooth and natural defender at shortstop that can stick. He always seems to be under control and aware of the situation at hand. There's a strong internal clock, good instincts, soft hands, and a plus arm to go along with a good two-strike approach. Now his weaknesses. Defensively, he will take his eye off the ball and peek at the runner causing some balls to skip off the glove. Although it is not overly common, it is something he should iron out with relative ease. He does like plus speed, but makes up for it defensively with a quick first step and strong instincts. Overall, Mayer is an all-around solid athlete with some room to add some weight and strength to the frame. Pair that with one of the better approaches and hit tools in the class. There is a lot to like there, showing a smooth, consistent swing with jump off the bat from the left side. With the added loft in the, in the bat path, there is 20 plus homer power in there to tap into consistently while holding the ability to hit for a high average. If the power continues to develop as it has, Mayer may end up the most well-rounded prospect in the class, possibly the first prep off the board with legitimate all-star potential and a cornerstone to build around in the future. A smooth fielding infielder with a solid chance to stick at shortstop that brings a legitimate top of the order left-handed bat to the table that is not easy to come by. Mayor's best MLB comps would either be the Los Angeles Dodgers shortstop Corey Seager or former Oakland A's third baseman Eric Chavez. 
He is draft eligible for the 2021 MLB Draft. Again, to get the full in-depth scouting report written by Jake Tillinghast, go to our website www.prospectsworldwide.com. I'm Austin Farmer, and thanks for watching the video version of the scouting report on Marcelo Mayer.